ChatGPT just released ChatGPT4 and the improvements over ChatGPT are significant. Let me show you exactly how to access ChatGPT4 here and I'll show you five of the biggest upgrades that are rolling out to ChatGPT4. Now ChatGPT is still on the same website, chat.openai.com. You just have to log in and change the model to ChatGPT4 here, or it's just called GPT4. Now this option requires what's called ChatGPT+, which right now is a subscription service for $20 a month. But I assume they're gonna roll this out to everyone. Right now, it's only available for the subscribers, which is what I've had for about a month now. Now the biggest update with GPT-4 is that it can understand images. And it could understand not just what's in the image, but the context of what's going on in the image too. That's the biggest upgrade. You could input image instead of text, and basically what it gives you is an answer based on that picture. One of the examples they showed in their video is that in a picture with a lot of balloons, if you cut the cord, the balloons will fly away. It actually understands the logic of what's going on in the picture. Now the test for that is still limited, so I can't show you that live, but they do have really good examples on their website. The next big upgrade is the word limit increase. Now ChatGPT3 had a word limit of 3000 words. This is on the input side and the output side. GPT4 has a word limit of 25,000 words. That's eight times more since the previous version that just came out a few months ago. This makes it a lot more useful for long form content like writing novels or screenplays. And GPT-4 also has a lot more creative ability. Basically, it could develop or help you develop entire screenplays and it could help you compose entire songs. I tested this out and it's far more creative than the previous model. And it does this by learning the user's writing style as well. So it could become your writing partner in that way. And compared to ChatGPT3, it's also way smarter. The research team basically gave it standardized testing, ton of tests that you could see on their website. And GPT-4 scored way higher. In fact, in a lot of cases where ChatGPT3 failed the test and he got the bottom 10% score, ChatGPT4 actually aced the test, sometimes in the 99th percentile. And it's also multilingual now where you could input and output chat in 26 different languages. So it's going to be available for a lot more people around the world. I'll keep you posted on any new updates rolling out to chat GPT. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.